hair looks great. My name is Dolores Ceballos and I'm with Maricopa County Public Health. And my name is Ernie Hull and I'm with the Peoria Boys and Girls Clubs of Metropolitan Singles. And today is our first annual health fair, community health fair back to school event here for Peoria Boys and Girls Club. And uh, we had quite a few different screenings going on for the community. We had immunizations, we had blood pressures, heights and weights. We had um, STDs and HIV testing. We had dental checks. We had a lot of different vendors that were providing a lot of information for the community from health plans to insurance to IDs for kids for uh, uh, prevention in case they were to be lost or missing. The DVDs that they were giving out would help identify them to find them out in the community. Uh, we also had vendors from um, acupuncture, chiropractor, um, what were some of the other ones? We, the mammogram truck was here, um, the fire department came and they did some um, help with the, the car seats for the kids and, and I guess we did quite a few um, families who had the, the, the firemen said that they wouldn't if they had gotten in a crash their car seats they, the babies wouldn't have even survived so they had he had uh, about 100 uh, 50 to 100 families who came in with babies whose car seats were not safe already so we had that done um, we also did this so that we could really focus on helping families get back into get their kids back into school this year but the economy being what it was we thought a health fair would kind of help them get a good start so that was kind of the focus how many people were attending the today's event? We did over 800 today. Over 800? Mm -hmm. And you're, this is why, what is it exactly uh, why you're doing it? Is it helping the community? I think it's helping the community because we have a lot of people who've lost their jobs um, and don't have medical anymore. Um, and so they would need, they needed this in order to just get their get their immunizations for the kids, so the kids can get started back to school this year. And so it, I think it helped the community a lot. And we gave out backpacks, so they needed um, school supplies to get their kids back in school. So if you have lost your job and you're trying to get kids back in school, so that's this, is, this is something that we all the information that we bring into these health fairs is also to help empower the communities with the information and the services that are out there, and in hopes that they will take that information and you know initiate calling or contacting these programs and services to be able to meet those needs that they have. One of the things that the, we're having the blood service here, when, when I talked to the blood lady from the blood service, she said that they have, they, they don't get a lot of blood donated um, for um, people of color, African Americans, Hispanic people, and they always need blood for those people, so this was a good, we have a high pop, Hispanic population, and so we thought just having them here would help uh, help their blood supply for our, our Hispanic population. When you're saying here, you're talking about? In Arizona. Peoria. Peoria. In Peoria. At the Boys Club. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Any time or, or next year, how can people get a hold of you? By calling the Peoria Boys and Girls Club and just asking for Ernie. Our phone number is 623-979-3559. Or they can email me at ehole at bgcmp.org. Or, and I'm with um, Maricopa County Public Health. Like I said, I'm the Community Outreach Specialist. And they can reach me at 602-372-7034 or email me at Dolores Ceballos, D-O-L-O-R-E-S-C-E-B-A-L-L-O-S at mail, M-A-I-L, dot maricopa, dot gov. For a vendor to come over and join to help you out with what you're doing here. Uh, are you inviting vendors or Yes, owners? we are inviting vendors and any other, like the Dolores was saying, we have to raise money for the mammogram truck to come over. And if anyone wanted to don't make a donation to help um, women get those mammograms, that'd be awesome. And we absolutely are inviting vendors to come over for our next one for next year.
Uh, well, how did we get everything cleaned up? What do you think about the health fair today? It was great. Great. What did you, uh, what do you think uh, was good about it, or what did you get out of it? I came in and donated blood. And I appreciate that. Did you know that for donating blood today, you're going to save, be able to save three lives from just the blood donation that you do? I didn't know that. Yeah, every time you donate. I thought it was one person, and I was happy with that. No, just think, three <laughs> lives for a blood donation, which is awesome. So, And that's something that you might want to keep in mind. And also, you might want to do something like with your children. You know, let them know that this is a good service for them to do to help their communities. You know, and as we were saying earlier, that one of the biggest things that we have with blood donations is that we don't have enough uh, Hispanic people, African Americans, or Native Americans that donate blood on a regular basis. And people with O positive blood, you know, our blood is like gold. And we, we can give blood to just about anybody. So that's what is good about having O positive is that more people that donate can save more lives that way. There are some red blood, rare blood types that's very important to have in case we have people that have that rare blood blood, and we need to uh, donate blood. Is there something as far as information that uh, my daughter volunteered too? Yes, I know she's a volunteer here at the Boys and Girls Club and she was out there working. We had her running around quite a bit doing some awesome stuff out there. So we appreciate her help too and that's, that's great. I've run into her a couple times here at the Boys and Girls Club. Um, what vendor out there that was out there as far as information was here that you had not ever seen before or heard of? The immunizations. Immunizations. Oh, good. You got a shot? Awesome. So you're ready for school then. Right? <laughs> and I got another one on my left arm, but it's covered. <laughs> awesome. So now you're ready for school. You got everything together and stuff. So good. I'm glad. So the Im having immunizations here really helps.